This is Takbo Camera, the place where you can learn how to film a car chase scene in an improvised manner. In this video, we are going to talk about how to execute the types of shots used in the car chase scene. And that type of shot for today is... The cutaway shot shows more detailed supporting actions unseen from the main action of the subject cars. The Fast and the Furious franchise won't be what they are without including shifting of knobs infinitely. You'll need the following materials to pull this off. A tripod, ropes or cables with hooks, and the camera. Here's how to do it. You can record the shifting of knobs, RPM, stepping of pedals, indicator switching, and button pressing action of the driver while actually parked and in stationary. The viewers won't even notice when the shots are inserted in between sequences. The only parts you can film in the car while moving are the speedometer, wheel steering, back and side mirrors, the muffler, the actor's expression, and some others that includes seeing the moving background unless you are using a green screen. You can do this in handheld. The whole shot won't be smooth but it gives out the sense of being fast. But if you're going to need to mount the tripod, set one of the tripod's legs on the passenger's seat and secure it with ropes or cables. The tripod is tied down and hooked from any possible mounting or clipping points seen inside the vehicle. The cables are pulling the tripod down, making it intact. Cutaway shots can also be the environment itself where the action is happening, supporting the actions of the subject cars by adding more sense of what's happening in the situation. It is possible to create more improvised DIY mounting techniques for cameras to create an output you wanted. Be creative and use those ropes and cables. To know more about how the preparation of a car chase scene is done and for other types of shots, visit www.takbocamera.com.